Hello everyone, welcome to the first podcast hosted by the same person, I'm Neil. And I'm Neil. Neil, what are we going to talk about today? March Madness. And what else are we going to talk about? Chinese Korean Club. Ooh, interesting. And what is the question of the day, Neil? Is root beer pop or so? All right, all this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hey Wildcats, last week, Nova gymnast Elisa won the state championship for balance beam. Stay tuned next week for an interview with her. Have a great day, Wildcats. Caleb, what you know about BPA states? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Do you want to know something about it? Sure. Okay, well you're in luck. This past weekend, BPA States took place in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and Novi was able to boast six state winners. Here are the following winners. Sophie Chaco won sixth place in Human Resource Management. Ye Jun Yang won first place in Digital Communication and Design Concepts. Quinn Blanchard got third place in Advanced Accounting. Ishan Sid, second place in Advanced Interview Skills. Harsha Heer, sixth place in Banking and Finance. Sachin Ramasani, third place in Digital Marketing Concepts. Harsha Heer, Ishan Sid, and Rohan Patil, third place in financial analyst team, and Ishan Sid, once again, fifth place in financial math and analysis concepts. Great job, Novi. What's up, Novi? Culture Club is meeting Friday, March 15th in room 182 at 2.50 p.m., and we'll be focusing on the culture of Armenia. Armenian apple cake will be provided, and all are welcome. Hope to see you there. The NoFi Creative Writing Club is having a creative writing competition coming up and ending at the beginning of April after break. All you have to do is make a creative work and submit it to the QR code on screen. There is a cash prize of $50 and your work in NoFi today. Hey Wildcats, the Novi Drama Club has an exciting new opportunity for all Novi High School students. A musical talent show is being planned. Anyone, I repeat, anyone can take part in this. Any individual or a group of individuals can perform a song, a dance, a piece of acting, or even playing a musical instrument. The only requirement for a selection itself is that it has to be from a piece of musical theater. No in-person auditions are necessary, but you are required to send a video of your practice performance to heather.mckeg at novik12.org by Friday, March 15th. This opportunity is open to anyone and everyone. This musical theater talent showcase is indeed a fundraiser for our upcoming musical, Singing in the Rain. Please consider being a part of the showcase by acting, singing, dancing, juggling, anything you can think of related to musical theater. And get hyped for the musical, Singing in the Rain. Goodbye. Novi, we're back again with another episode of Guess That Cat Size News Baby. So, for today's episode, please guess that baby. What's up, Nova? Today we're doing a soda tier list. So first we got 7-Up, and this is kind of just another flanker of Sprite. I'll give it a B. I mean, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It kind of just tastes like a watered-down Sprite a little bit. I'm entirely in agreement with that. I think seven's a really funny number, though, so B. Next we got is A&W Root Beer, and as far as Root Beer goes, this is a very solid one. I'll give it an A. I haven't even really had any other Root Beer, but A&W is always good, so I'm going to give it an S. Root Beer! Yes. Next we got A and W cream root beer. <laughs> Next we got A and W cream soda. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best sodas out there. I'm gonna give it an S. A and W just knocked it out of the park with this one. I gotta give it an S. Root beer. Yes. Uh, next we got Canada Dry Ginger Ale. I used to drink this all the time when I was at my grandma's house. I I'll give it a B. I think Canada Dry is better than Verner's. I'm gonna give it an S. So I feel like that is completely wrong because uh, Verner's is like the best, but that's besides the point. Canada Dry, you can't put dry in the name of a liquid. Like, come on guys. I don't like it. I'm gonna give it a C. What? Now we have the OG Coke, and this one is just a classic, okay? So I gotta give it an S. Coke is number one, and you can't ever go wrong with it. It's classic. It has to go S. Huh. 
Spotify, it's me again. As a guy, I think Coke is a solid A tier because hear me out, I would much rather drink like a root beer over a Coke. Let's be honest here. Do you want to diss Coke Zero? Yes. This one is actually like the lowest level of Coke, right on par with a Diet Coke. It's actually foul. I hate it. F. It, it's got to be one of the worst sodas I have ever had. It's like Coke, but without the Coke. There's zero Coke. F. Speaking of which, we got Diet Coke. So <laughs> my old uncle always have cans and cans and cans of Diet Coke, and it is just an old person drink. And I don't care if you say I'm yapping right now. F. I think Diet Coke is a drink that people <laughs> drink. <laughs> Because they think that they're being healthy. I'm gonna have to give it a D. Yeah, I think there's definitely like a stereotype because you know It's got the word diet in it, but frankly you cannot spell the word diet without die So Diet Coke sucks. F. Next we got is Dr. Pepper and this one is also just a classic. It tastes really good It's probably one of the best sodas you're gonna find. I really 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 do enjoy it So it's got to be an S. Dr. Pepper is the best soda S. Now I love me a Dr. Pepper. Most of my days I'm gonna be probably me drinking Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is a media S tier. Dr. Pepper has got to be one of the only sodas with a medical license, so I'm gonna give it an S. All right, next we got is Pepsi. This one, people are like, oh, Pepsi or Coke. But honestly, Pepsi is just like the rip-off Coke. That's really all it is. Like, it's good. Coke just tastes more authentic and original. It's got to be a C. I don't think I've ever seen someone who actually drinks Pepsi besides Jaden. <laughs> it's just really not that good, so I'll have to give it a C. This obviously comes back to the classic question, Coke or Pepsi, and the answer is obviously Coke. I will respect other people's opinions to an extent, but it does suck. However, Pepsi Man released on the PlayStation 1, so it's gonna be a B. Hey Novi, thanks for watching today's broadcast today. We'll see you next week for another broadcast next week. But meanwhile, we're going to keep recording. So meanwhile, stay tuned. <laughs> see you later next week. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas, and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi.